Well, hey again, YouTube. It's Speedy Two Finger. Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning to you. So, I'm not a big uh, John Wayne enthusiast. As a matter of fact, when I was a kid coming up, I think I didn't, I didn't like John Wayne. It seemed to me like the kind of thing that my grandma would really like. Like, I, I think I remember her. Oh, John Wayne. Uh, like, in the, in the preview for the one movie, it was like the big, 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 big John Wayne. Like, he's big. Man, he ate a lot of steak and all of the meat impacted into his bowels. He just seemed like... He's like slapping women and like, give me my brandy or like, you know, I got to have a steak. And uh, like, I, I don't know, like, did he ever even unholster his weapon? Like he, he just didn't seem like an action guy to me. Like he just seemed like there was always like some like 21 year old woman who was like kissing on him and stuff and he look he's looking like he's like ready to die he's so old his face is all contorted and squinty eyes and he's all wrinkly another steak just i wasn't a big john wayne fan and then they looked at there was like mcclintlock and like McHugh and all these mix where he was like i don't know was he supposed to be irish and he had like some giant silencer on his gun what was he doing? Like, he needed to sit down. It was he was way too old to be uh, making any of those movies, and I don't think any of them have good reviews. Like the stuff that he did, there's a lot of like later in his career. Like he he started out in like 1933. Like there's a movie in 1933 with him in it, and he 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 looks old. Like <laughs> there's this joke that my wife and I have when we watch movies that are. Uh, shot before 1970 and we'll say oh that guy he's 35 even though the guy uh, looks like he's 70 you know and a well placed some kind of reference about their age of how young they are even though they look unbelievably old will really really crack me up my wife has uh, a great ability to do one, that joke. So with that, all that being said, um, some John Wayne thing came up and I was like, uh, you know, because we, we saw like Real Bravo maybe and it's it's got uh, uh, Dean Martin plays like a pathetic drunk and, and Wayne is not a drunk, he, but he's trying to get him like, come on, you know, have a steak. And uh, I'll tell you what, it wasn't a bad movie, but it was no Treasure of Sierra Madre. That's a great movie. So we, uh, I know what it was. About a week and a half or two weeks ago now, something happened in the community with the gray area free movie streaming services. And this is my thing. Um, this is like, if you're familiar with TPB or the Pirate Bay, anytime a movie would drop on the Pirate Bay, these movies get downloaded and stored to some server and there's these gray area free streaming sites you can go to and you'll click on the movie and a pop-up will come up. So you X out of that pop-up, you click on the movie again, another pop-up. So you might have to do seven clicks and then the movie will start. So that's the, the like instead of paying, that's what I have to do is a couple extra clicks. And some of the pop-ups might be nasty. It might be some cartoon of some woman sticking her butt out or whatever. You know, it's, it is what it is and I, got in a habit of being able to beat these pop-ups because they take a minute to load because it'll be an image and they're slow servers I can just X them out and I don't have to see the naked Chinese schoolgirl cartoon so um, we've been using these gray area free streaming sites for a long time and we watch movies every night 
We never got in trouble. Uh, and then the site's down. And I went and checked, and it was like, on one of them it said there were some lawsuits that happened. They got called out. And they said, don't worry about us. We're never going down. There are some of these places that they're like, we're not going to hear it. We'll go. To, we'll move our servers to another country, like Sweden. And Sweden's like, no, you, you're not going to ban anything on the internet. You know, certain countries have different laws. So uh, that may be what it may be, and I may be incorrect about that now. I remember at one point when they took the pirate bay down, but all those guys were they were Swedes, and it was all happening in Sweden, and and there was a huge court thing. So the point is, uh, I'm not really aware of what countries are good as far as piracy or not, but I'm I'm not willing to pay what they're charging for this entertainment. Okay? It's garbage. I don't support the Hollywood system. Hollywood is full of pedophiles and people that abuse women. It's a sick, corrupt place, and they're not getting a dime of my money. But I'll watch the movies. And that's I, I don't feel one whim about it simply because of how evil that machine is and how many people have been hurt. I'm not, I'm not paying into it. I'm not supporting it. And I don't have any qualms about watching the entertainment for free. So, one of the places is called Look Movies. And they don't necessarily feature all the latest hot hits. Their page that you go to, they'll, they upload movies every day. So when you go there, it'll be all new movies. And a lot of them are old. Sometimes you'll see, like, it's weird, like there's somebody behind it that's doing it. And they'll go, and they'll research films from one year. So it'll be a bunch of stuff from one year. Or all some theme. It's weird, like, there'll be, like, a gay movie. And then, like, you're looking, and I'm like, all these movies are gay. <laughs> and no, nothing against that, but I'm straight, and I'm, I, wouldn't, I would be uncomfortable watching that content. So, I had to change my, I got a, what do you call it, uh, your homepage speed dial. I had a speed dial on my look movies. I had to go and look up, there's like I don't know how many different look movies that route to the same servers but um, I had to change that and I was on Yes Movies which is similar to look movies but it's more sometimes they throw CAPTCHA at you so I don't like Yes Movies but I was in there and this John Wayne movie came up and we're going to go take a look at that um Oh, here. It's right here. Hellfighters. Divorced Chance Buckman. Chance Buckman. Chance Buckman is the name. Dangerous the game. D divorced. Like, oh, he, here he is. He's in his suit. He's divorced. And he's looking for an 18-year-old woman to come kiss up on him and make a mistake. Divorced Chance Buckman is the name. Fighting. Hellfighting fires the game. He fights international oil rig fires. An injury brings his daughter, and to his dismay, she weds Greg, a team member. Chance gets a desk job, so he and Madeline remarry, but a Venezuelan oil rig fire reunites them. So this movie, I don't even know how to describe how bizarre it was, but hopefully we can take a look at these pictures. Can we get into photos? Oh my God, I I can't see the pictures on IMDb. I gotta go IMDb Pro. Oh, here we go. Now we can look at the pictures. So here's here's Greg. This is the woman. I he he's like, all these guys are really old. There's one guy with a wheelchair. This weird, really weird in the face looking guy, and this guy's the stud. He's like. 
you take a girl to the fire and then you take her in the back and then you and then they're like ah. so he's like basically bringing all these single or married women to see these fires and then he takes them in the in the uh what do they call it hospitality uh shack and has his way with them so here's the beautiful woman it's his daughter chance buckman's the game and his daughter comes with this like i don't know is he on stilts like look at how unbelievably tall this guy is he's really lanky and he's got a real weird way of standing and they kept making it out like he was just oh man the women just can't control themselves when this lank monster's around so uh yeah here he is injured himself with a, a stake the hell fighters john wayne and they kind of got it like they got this where they inserted him where he looks he's kind of like a cowboy i i don't I, did he even wear that in hell fighters i'm not sure so this movie it's like a as you can see they build it as an action drama but there's a lot of this like i'm about to order a steak how about you and me later on and she's like well i don't know we're divorced and i left you because of your hell fighting and uh the hell fighting segments of it are really what what why you would want to watch it um there is like some gunplay at the end of the movie where uh none of the good guys pan pick up a weapon yeah there's the hospitality shack you see you can see that he's like he's like hey tell tell your husband i said hi and she's like what did i do i ruined my marriage uh but these scenes here were there there uh, the limited little bits of uh action oh yeah and that guy too he gets shot in the leg there's a lot of fisticuffs in john wayne movies and it'll break out in a second they meet these australians in a bar and uh it's like good day mate we're you know fair dinkum we're drunk and he's like you need to go home we're gonna f we're gonna be hell fighting tomorrow and he's like hey mate it's fair dinkum this is my crew when i tell them when to drink and i tell them when not to drink and he's like all right well i'm gonna punch you in the face and they just, it's such a huge brawl break, breaks out in Madame Wong's, which was this bizarre whorehouse that they went to. This guy is a uh, reporter, and he keeps telling them, you got to move your truck back. And then uh, when they, they use explosives like this. This rig here is hooked up to a, a bulldozer, and they put a barrel of, tea and, of nitro. And they bring it up, and then, bam, it blows out the fire when that explodes, and then they cap the oil off. And when they cap the oil off, they bring this thing in and on a crane, and he's John Wayne's got to put the bolts in it and screw them down. And there's so much oil shooting out of it, shooting him in the face, just blasting him. It's one of the most funny things I've ever seen. But uh, the oil, the oil fighting scenes in this movie are what makes it great. It's really a lot of fun to watch them uh, getting injured, people almost losing their life, trying to put these ridiculous fires out. And then it's all of this romantic stuff with this guy trying to be uh, Mr. Pretty Boy, blinking his eyes. And as you can tell, John Wayne, it's absolutely ridiculous that he would be doing this. And like, he's flying a jet like, he does everything. He's like, Chance Buckman. Chance Buckman's the dame. Hell's a poppin's the game. Just give me a steak. And, yeah, I mean, look, like, look at this. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Here's the guy with the wheelchair. I heard that he really lost his leg. And John Wayne did him a favor by casting him in the movie. But, are... Are they going to show him? Chance Buckman. And they keep, like, you hear them 
it's just Chance Buckman, Chance Buckman, Chance Buckman. That's all they keep saying in the movie. It's like, if Chance Buckman can't do it, then Chance Buckman can't. Like, they just, and and it's like, they're so rich. It's like this jazz music's playing, and they're they're just going out, eating shrimp cocktails and golfing. Like, it's the lifestyle. Chance Buckman, he gets paid by the million dollars to put out his fires. And, oh, here's Madame Wong's at the whorehouse. There's uh, Fair Dinkum. And they got this guy. At the end, she brings bagels and locks. And they're always mad. It's like, why are you bringing her to an oil fire? And he's like, We're, because we don't lie to each other. And it's because he can't handle himself. If he sees a woman, he's got to take her in the trailer. So she comes along. And, of course, things go from bad to worse. Hell's a poppin'. We gotta see that guy. Where's that guy? They're, they're not. He's really weird looking. This this got little. Oh, there he is. This guy's in it, and he's like, I I don't know what his deal is, but he can do anything. He's just like the Yoda of the movie. He just gets it done. He doesn't care. And then yeah, there's this. These planes fly in at the end. And, yeah, there's the thing that he's got to put on there where he gets sprayed in the face. And look at this ridiculous red suit. Chance. Chance Buckman's the game. Dangerous. Chance Buckman's the name. Dangerous the game. How's it popping? Just stay away from the officina. If the officina's rocking, how's it popping, Hellfighters? Yeah, here's where they're about to go eat a steak. Where he's, uh... So, yes, I do recommend this movie. Uh, the idea of John Wayne being this close to death, donning a red suit and then going and doing that job is absolutely ridiculous. There's no way in hell he would be doing it. Um, and they kind of hint at that. Like, he's going to retire, you know. But the idea that like this weird young guy who was also like in his 50s was pulling all these chicks. You had to kind of suspend your disbelief. It's to all John Wayne movies start at two hours and they go up to like three and a half. So you got to be ready for that. Uh, I watched it in two sittings, which will help. But you definitely should check out Hellfighters if you're looking for uh, something more than li likely like if you have an old lady she might enjoy this because there's divorce and uh, romance. Like, they're getting back together. And that other lanky guy, he's just banging all these women. And then she meet, he meets this one, and she's special. So, yeah, women will probably like this movie. Uh, it has the action and adventure fire scenes in it. And uh, John Wayne is in it, and he's great. He, it, I mean, I, I'm, I'm getting to appreciate... The John Wayne thing. I, I'm not as offended by him. I see it for what it is. And as opposed to the movies that are coming out now, where it's all about uh, some lesbian kicking a bunch of guys' ass, uh, I'd rather watch this. I'd rather watch someone eat a steak. So with that in mind, the other one that I watched, this is uh, Jimmy Stewart, John Wayne, Man, there's a lot of people in this movie. The director, John Ford, made a lot of John Wayne movies, and he made a lot of westerns. He was a big-time famous director. And there's more Pete famous people in this movie. Jimmy Stewart, John Wayne, uh, Lee Marvin is in it. Now, Lee Marvin, anytime you see this guy and he's the bad guy in the movie, it's going to be a good movie. This guy is a motherfucker. He is an incredible male lead actor. The real deal. This guy is a true American badass. And look, listen to the names. Ransom Stoddard. Tom Donovan. Liberty Valance. Hallie Stoddard. Dutton Peabody. Link Appleyard. Major Cassius Starbuckle. Doc Willoughby. Nora Erickson. Peter Erickson. Oh, are they really married? Pompey. Pompey was great. 
Woody Strode, he was this big uh, bull uh, person. And then Denver Pyle, Amos Carruthers, Reese, Lee Van Cleef is Reese. Struther Martin is Floyd. Handy Strong. <laughs> Herbert Carruthers. So this movie was bizarre. Uh, these two played cooks. There is so much steak in this movie and them saying steak and talking about steak. Steak and beans, steak and potatoes, steak and double uh, deep dish apple pie. Uh, there's whiskey drinking, there's punch em ups, there's shootouts, there's showdowns. And it's, it's weird, it's almost like two movies in one. There's a massive flashback that goes back many years and then uh, there's a whole political... Do you remember the Star Wars movie where it was like... Uh, what's that guy? Uh, the dude who made George Lucas. He uh, divorced his wife. And then he got visitation of his kids. And their kids were like, Dada, I like Star Wars. So he's like, I gotta make another Star Wars movie. So he made those three Star Wars movies that were bad. Do you remember those? In the middle one, it was like, we have the embargo. We need to go to Senate and have a talk. And it was like these fish guys were in the Senate, and this Chinese lady, and our 2 2 was, whip, 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 whip. and then it was like, yasa, misa, yasa, yasa. They had that black guy, whatever, uh, fish, worm creature that was a black guy, uh, Jar Jar Bink. He came and yes, Amisa, he went up into Congress. I don't know if you remember that. There was a whole thing. It was like another hour that they needed to just cut out of the movie. Well, they have the same thing in The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance. It's a Western. There's all the stuff you expect. Punch out, shoot him up, drinking whiskey, pulling the cork of the whiskey bottle out with your teeth and spitting the cork out, taking a slug and throwing it through a window. Like the greatest whiskey drink I've ever seen in a, in a Western is in The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance. Uh, the bad guy is such an unbelievable bad guy. It's Lee Marvin at his best. Uh, Lee Van Cleef is in it as one of his henchmen. That's how much of a badass. Lee Van Cleef is just his little buddy. And uh, Jimmy Stewart plays a lawyer. And at the end of this movie, it's all about legality and voting. And it's so bizarre, like I said, it's two movies in one. There's this legal thing, and in that they have like, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's like they're going from the Old West time where every man had to take care of themselves and you had to have a gun uh, to where it's going to be all civilized and you take the guy to court and sue him if he... Uh, shoots one of your relatives so that's the basic loose plot of the movie in the second movie that i'm talking about they have the regular western that's the old way then there's this thing with the new where they've got all these signs and there's all these guys with giant hats and a marching band and they're in a small room and jimmy stewart's in there there's lee van cleef He's got this stick that he whip. He, if you don't like Jimmy, if you don't like Jimmy Stewart, if he annoys you, or oh, shoo pedals, he gets the shit whipped out of him with this thing. He he poops Zuzu's pedals with, uh, from Lee Van Cleef, whipping him relentlessly with this this really cool whip that custom made. It's got like silver on it, and there's braids and studs and uh, Motley Crue skulls on it and stuff. He's just so terrifying. These are his little buddies back here. So, uh, you have all this regular, oh, there's Lee Van Cleef. They have all the regular showdown stuff. And, of course, romance. There's two guys in love with her. And then you have this. And there's a marching band. There's, it's like eight guys with big hats. And you see two, maybe two of them have trumpets. And they come marching in and they're playing, uh, Hail, hail, the gang's all here. And there's like flutes and violins. It's like... <whistles> there's like those flutes doing that. 
And really, it's like there's only eight guys. Like there's no, you got like a 64 piece orchestra to play this. Hell, hell, the gang's all here. And it's like eight guys with two trumpets that march in. That they look like they're hungover. These guys in here, they're all yelling at the top of their lungs. This whole thing with these elections, it's horrible. It's all guys with giant hats yelling at each other at the top of their lungs. Then one guy will bang on the table and be like, here, here now. We're going to have an election and it's going to be fair. We're not going to have it like the crazy old Wild West days with Liberty Valance running around. And Liberty Valance was good. You shouldn't have shot him. We're going to take you to court for murder and unless you get elected to be the president so it's very like two, there's uh poppy he was poppy was great and he did everything they were like poppy go plant this plant in the garden put it next to the shuby tree poppy after that get in here and make these apple deep dish apple pies uh john wayne's hungry and he needs steaks poppy Go cut up another bull for steaks. We've got company, and John Wayne's going to eat five charred blackened steaks. They're, and steak, the word steak is said in this movie more times. I've never heard the word steak said more times in my life. It's just steak, steak, steak. There's a scene on YouTube called the steak scene. And, like, all these filthy guys with dirt in their beard, they're all chain-smoking, and they're cast like constantly drinking they're all drunk like a lot of alcoholism and like you have to have a steak and then poppy he does not touch the devil's water there's a few people in this movie that refuse it and they make all the difference in the world now this woman here she works with another guy her husband they're cooking the food she's got the swedish brandy hidden away and she's cooking the uh the deep dish apple pies and they were swedish and they were awesome in it. I love them. And I think Poppy worked for them. And he was friends with John Wayne, who the movie was kind of confusing because it was like John Wayne basically doesn't say anything. And they kind of let you figure out what's going on, that he was really in love with that broad. And when he saw what happened, he just flipped out and got drunk and told, uh, what's his name, Jimmy Stewart, Hey, it's Shemp. You can have her. He, he like figured out that she fell in love with him and what he did was the right thing. But he flipped out. He What he does, he really does some bad stuff when he gets mad. So it was a weird movie. Like I said, it had this whole thing. Like a lot of the characters were kind of cartoonish. Like this guy was the cowardly sheriff that he just kept begging for food. So it's kind of a little bit cartoony. As you can see, this is the part of the movie I did not care for, where they're all just screaming over each other. How many times you see these doors uh, flopping in and out because John Wayne threw someone through them. And then the bizarre, uh, the, the Alice in Wonderland uh, headgear that's on display. Uh, these uh, happily married... Uh, that's how it is in the Old West. And maybe that's... See, this movie was made in 62, and they shot it in black and white because they, they went back in time like 30 years. And they said they could never get away with it in color. So they did it in black and white to make you believe that these uh, this going back in time, uh, this makeup, to make this... They're old here, and then they're young there. But uh, it, the man who shot Liberty Valance, I've heard about this movie. Uh, the first time I watched it, it kind of I'm like a, I, I will definitely watch this movie again at some point. But uh, it was just bizarre how they kind of shoehorned uh, Buck Langhorn. Chance Buckman for mayor. And and then just for the stake. Like I said, there were, it's two movies in one. They should have cut the other one out and just had this story with this excellent Lee Marvin. One of the best Western things with him. This showdown that he has with uh, Zuzu's pedals is pretty good. And he's an excellent bad guy. But... 
it was all a plot device for this election. This every got all these guys in this crazy guy there he is. He was the drunk. He can't he can't get enough liquor in him. But uh as a plot device, this thing with these elections were completely unbelievable, how everyone was just screaming over each other. And then one guy would rap on a uh, board and everyone would come together and agree. Uh, this Swedish guy, <laughs> again, I don't know why they got that guy and his wife. I, I know that in the movie they have to have one beautiful woman. Look at this guy. Where did they get him? He should have been in a major role. Look at that face. Holy cow. He should have been one of uh, one of Lee Marvin's bad guys. But in the movies, they'll typically they'll have one like she's the one. And all the other women can't be as good looking. But if you know anything about Swedish people, the men and the women are usually very attractive. Like if you, if you watch videos about Sweden, uh, they're, they're very easy on the eyes, people. They really are amazingly good looking. They're the best looking people on the face of the earth. If you, if you ask me, there are some pretty Polish women uh, in, in that area, that European area, all the women from that area, I'm partial to the, that type of look of that type of woman. Uh, but what am I to say? I can't judge a beauty by its cover and all women certainly have their charms. But in movies, they will do this thing where they can't have another woman who's good looking. Ah, certain movies will. They'll have they'll go for all of the chicks in the movie to be really attractive. But uh, in this one, I felt the only thing that didn't add up. Uh, but she, maybe she is. I mean, th this face here to me, that's Norwegian. So uh, the, when you go up north in Sweden, the people aren't blonde. They have jet black hair, and they look more like Eskimos. They've got squinty eyes. So it, she may very well be, but that's, to me, that's Norwegian. And then they have the Samis, or the Samis, if you call them that, who were like mountain people that were looked at uh, like, they didn't like the Samis. They were bad. You know, they were reindeer people. They, they lived off the reindeer. So I, I recommend you check out both of these movies. Um, if you like steak. And this man, this guy was so good. Poppy. Poppy was the man. There's 155 images. So I, I guess we'll keep going. And make sure we didn't miss anything. Any... Oh! Men and some scooter. Men and oh man, I wish my mom was here to pronounce it. I, I miss my mom. She she passed away in uh, July of, of last year. And you know what? I, I really do miss my mom. I wish I could talk to her again. You you what there's a while there where you don't realize that they've passed and you'll get a think like, oh I gotta call her and tell her this. I'd like to. And then you realize you can't. So, oh my goodness, look at this picture of Lee Marvin. They made, they made him look like he was a... The homie guitar Liberty Valence. Man, I want to be La homie guitar. So there you go. This movie is about two hours long. Uh, I would highly recommend you check it out. And hey, you know what? If you guys have any, if you're an expert on John Wayne movies, like don't miss McClintlock or McBranigan. That's the one where you know, he's got the giant silencer. Or is that McHugh? Uh, I'll, I'm I'm not certainly not an expert. I don't know anything about John Wayne movies. Like I said, I didn't like him when I was a kid. I know there's that longest day, which is three hours. Definitely, that's the one that I really want to watch. Is called Donovan's Reef. 
It looks just batshit insane. Watch the preview for Donovan's Reef. It's some racial thing where he's out with, like, Samoans. And he's like, ah, McDonovan. And he's wasted and he's at the beach at the reef and he's just drunk. Eating sea cucumbers. There was like, rah, rah, and they all ran into the ocean. Like, it's the sea cucumbers are in rut. Like, let's get them. So that, <laughs> that Donovan's rut, Donovan's reef, uh, that's the one I want to see, and I, I can't find it on the internet. It's like Apple TV or some stupid thing that you're going to have to, you know, accept the mark of the beast to watch it. All right, you guys, I'm going to cut you loose. Remember to try to stay warm, or if it's summertime, stay cool. Hug your pets. Hug your pets. Be, be nice to the babies. Hug your pets. Give, give them an extra treat from Petey. And peace. <laughs>